everyone, it's Katrina, and welcome back to another episode of Everglades National Zoo. It's been a while since we've had an episode because I took kind of a long break because this is just a really busy time of year and I didn't really find any time to record any videos or anything. Um, but now, hopefully, I'll have a lot more time and have a lot more videos coming. So, sorry about that break, but I am back now and I was... I've been saying for the longest time now that my next episode would be an Imani Zoo episode, but after taking this break, I kind of missed the Everglades, so I decided to just start off again um, right away with the Everglades, and then this time, for sure, the next episode will be Imani Zoo, hopefully for sure, because it's been quite a while since we've been back in that zoo. Um, but we're back in the Everglades today and doing an episode or I'm sorry, a uh, habitat for some clouded leopards, which we got in the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. So continuing this section of the zoo. And I really, really liked building this habitat. It was a ton of fun, but before I start talking more about the habitat, I just wanna say also thank you for 200 subscribers. Um, we hit that quite a while ago, well, not not that long ago, less than a month ago, but it's still um, been a while since I've been on this break, and so I haven't even really been able to mention it since then, but thank you for that, and we're actually almost at 250, I think, right now, and that's really crazy, so just thank you, thank you so much for that, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying my videos so far. They've been a lot of fun to make, and I'm really glad I decided to start doing these. Um, so, more going back into the video with the clouded leopards. I had this um, idea in my mind that I wanted to do for the clouded leopards and it turned out like almost exactly how I envisioned it. So this might be another one of my favorite habitats I've ever built in this game. It was a ton of fun. So I have this little section cut off from the main path and it has these glass viewing area right here that I'm building and I built this custom rock wall that was a bit earlier here that goes around. Um, it doesn't go all the way around actually, it kind of just um, comes off from the glass viewing area. Um, but I made that out of a bunch of the fake rocks from the aquatic pack and just recolored those to different shades of gray. And I stacked them on top of each other and then also put some ivy and some more of those mossy rocks with the pink flowers. I use those in like almost every episode, but I never know what the name of them is. Um, but yeah, that's what we did with this little custom wall, and I think that turned out really cool. It's a lot of pieces though, so I did try not to use it uh, too much. This zoo has gotten pretty big so far, but so far I haven't had a lot of lag, which is good. The only time I experience lag is when the game is in pause, which really doesn't make any sense with me or to me because usually it's the other way around. It'll get laggy when you play it because that's when everything's running and then um, you can play it in pause, but sometimes when I have it in pause, that's when it gets laggy and once you press play, it's fine from there it's not laggy anymore so that d that doesn't really make sense to me but um, that's just how it is I guess but other than that I've experienced no lag so far and it's gotten pretty big but we still do have quite a lot to go we still haven't even started the marshland section which I'm hoping to get to soon because I've really loved doing a swamp it's been really cool and I think it's kinda unique something different um, but I will like want to change it up eventually um, to kind of get in some more different foliage and stuff because it's all been really a continuation of everything. But this habitat was actually a little different from the ones we've been doing. It's a lot less swamp than um, the other habitats, so there's not like a, there's not that custom tree that I made with the Spanish moss or. There's not as much foliage in the water. There's not as big. There is a water section, but it's not as big as the water sections in a lot of the other habitats. And this one is definitely more tropical because the clouded leopards do live in tropical rainforests. Well, that's they don't only live in tropical rainforests, but that is um, but that is one of the main areas they live in. And I thought with the tropical, you could just add a ton of trees and. 
I I always like adding a ton of trees, rocks and trees, they kind of just bring everything together. But I did want this habitat to be more shaded and kind of seem more small and enclosed and definitely having that tropical, um, all those tropical trees definitely gives it more of that feeling and makes it seem a little smaller. And then I built this structure over the whole um, viewing area out of these wood planks and I think it came together pretty good. I put some, at the end, I put some string lights on it for lighting and again, I, I love those string lights. I kind of have a weird obsession with those. Um, they're, I think they look really cute and yeah, so that kind of tied it all together and I think it's a really cute little viewing area kind of tucked away off the path. And then I put bamboo around the viewing area too as well as in some other places again because the bamboo provides like really nice shade and I wanted to make it a little darker and then also we've been using bamboo a lot of other places around the zoo um, it just it's it's a good for blocking the view of like if there's something you wouldn't want the guests to see you can use bamboo to kind of block that view and it works really well and it looks really natural and yeah I really like the bamboo and then we have a little water section for the clouded leopards it's really small um, they do swim in it sometimes, and they jump over it sometimes, which, I don't know, th their jumping animation is looks very unrealistic. It's kind of funny to watch them do it. It's like almost a slow motion jump over this little, I don't know what to call it, creek. It's not a creek, but this little skinny water section, and they just jump over it, and they go so high up in the air, and they go so slow. It looks so funny, um, but yeah, it's 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 entertaining to watch them do that and then they do swim too and this habitat it's it's kind of it looks kind of big and kind of small at the same time well their traversable area again was a little difficult because I did end up using a ton of rocks this episode it's probably the most rocks I've ever used in an episode yet it rocks is basically all I used and at the beginning I definitely was kind of like, is this too many rocks? But I had this vision in my mind from the beginning and I just stuck with it. And I was definitely questioning whether or not I was crazy or not. But I just kept going and once I added um, more foliage and all of that and everything else, it really did come together. And it didn't look quite as crazy though. It definitely does look crazy here in a little bit when I, all I do is add rocks. And again, this is just adding to all that piece count. Um, but still, I'm just going to keep building until it doesn't work anymore, I guess. And we'll see how far we get. But one thing, once all the rocks were put down and all the trees and everything and the clouded leopards were in their habitat, their traversable area and their climbing area was just not meeting um, the green status and their requirement. And realistically, again, like I mentioned last episode, it probably would be plenty enough in real life but it's just how the animals traversable area works in the game they can't always go to the places where they should be able to go and you could obviously tell that they would be able to get there they'd be able to climb this rock it's just that the in-game traversable area um, doesn't allow them to go there and then it doesn't count as their traversable area in their that they that they need and so they it just didn't meet it but it was like really close anyway cuz this is a pretty big habitat actually even though it kinda looks smaller which like I said in the beginning which is what I was trying to go for make it look a little smaller but it's actually kinda bigger and they have also an a section in the back here where I add a little shelter I didn't I didn't do much to this back area because you can't really see it if you're a guest it's kinda just functional for the leopards there's some climbing structures that are were just blueprints from frontier one of the frontiers blueprints and then a little very not it's barely even a shelter it's just some wood i don't i don't know what it's called wood planks they're not planks though i forget what it's called but just some wood logs that that's the word <laughs> just some wood logs that are going across and it's just functional it doesn't look really pretty um, but definitely where the guests can view I'm really proud of with all the foliage that I'll end up putting in later and then with the climbing structures too it wasn't really reading it wasn't really saying there was enough though I feel like there should have been 
but I did add another one of the Frontiers blueprints climbing structures. Not one of the big ones, just like a kind of a log balance where the leopards could balance across. And I put those on the rock so they can kind of climb from the rocks from there and they do climb that and that's pretty cool although it is still a little glitchy sometimes but that's kind of just how the game is and another thing I haven't done yet is any custom billboards I haven't done that yet and I really want to so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one episode I don't know when yet maybe maybe a little later down so we can just knock a lot uh, knock a lot of it out at once I'm gonna make an episode where I just go through and put in all the custom billboards I'm gonna make a ton of them and then make that an episode and that can also be like a tour of the zoo so far because we've gotten pretty far um, if you're new to the channel and you're one of the new subscribers I definitely recommend you go back and check out some of the older and um, first episodes of Everglades National Zoo which are my very first videos ever I still don't have a lot of videos on the channel yet but but I've definitely come pretty far so far, I think, and it's definitely been a lot of fun. So definitely go check out some of those videos if you haven't already. I have some playlist, a playlist made, so you can go check that out. And yeah, so I think that's just what we'll do. We'll kind of make a tour out of it, and yeah, I think that'll be fun putting in all those custom billboards. And one last thing I want to talk about is cloud leopards themselves because I usually like to go over the animals a little bit and talk about them a bit because I definitely love the animals. So clouded leopards, they're really they're really cool animals. They're very rare to see in the wild actually, and most of what's known of them comes from observing them in zoos. And like I said before, they mostly live in tropical rainforests, which is kind of what we went for for this habitat. And and some interesting facts about them is that they can open their jaws wider than any other cat and their teeth are most like the extinct saber-toothed tiger and another thing about their teeth which is really cool is they ha their teeth are the same size as tigers teeth despite being 10 times smaller than tigers so their their teeth are pretty impressive and their ankles can rotate backwards which makes them really good climbers so they're, this helps them like when they're climbing down trees they can climb down head first and their rotating ankles can also help them um, climb upside down because what a, a lot of times what they do when they're hunting is they'll climb a tree and then jump on their prey from a, like they'll be on the tree and they'll jump down on top of their prey and that's kind of one of the hunting techniques they use and another thing that helps them climb is they have really really long tails and then this just helps them balance and this is also why I put this climbing structure on the rocks where they can kind of just balance and because they have that really long tail that helps them balance and then um, they're classified as vulnerable and like many other animals their main threats are habitat loss and poaching and yeah, that's all I really have to say about this episode. I had a lot to say this time because it's been a while, but I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun, and sorry it took so long to get another video out, but coming soon I'll hopefully have videos out more regularly. And actually one last thing, I do want to give a shout out to my brother who streams on Twitch. His username is jrock0402 streams a lot of Rocket League and some other games and it's really fun to hang out so if you're interested in that definitely go check him out on Twitch there'll be a link in the description as well there'll be a link to my Instagram in the description if you would really like to see any updates from me that's where it'll be so go follow me there and thank you so much for watching like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time enjoy the rest of the speed build